Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Banjo Tooie Blind. In the last episode, we collected as much as we could here in the Maya Hem Temple, and we are going to be entering our next world of the game after talking to Jiggy Wiggy. But before we do that, you guys did tell me in the comments that I did miss a couple of things here in the first world that doesn't exactly give us any rewards right now, but it's going to help us definitely in the long run. Um, you guys were mentioning that the worlds do connect, and we did see an example of that while we were here. I guess we went to some other world or something, which is completely crazy. But I guess this makes it a little bit easier when we enter world 2. I'm not exactly what you guys are talking about, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, because it seems rather important. You guys did tell me how to start these things, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the job here. So the first thing you guys told me to do, out of the two things that we have to go back in here and do, is we need to go to the prison compound as a stony. And I didn't actually notice a stony here in the prison compound, and it didn't even occur to me to come here as one. And, well, actually, I did come here as one, but I never actually talked to that stony while I was here. And that's just me being negligent. I need to be more careful in talking to the NPCs around here. To fray the trapped one, the moon must appear before the first star. The sun rises next, after which come two more stars. Um, so I guess that is the combination of this area that we can now open up because I tried pressing this before and it didn't do anything. What was it? The moon comes before the first star. Dude, can you please? And then I think it's moon, star, sun, star, star is what the combination was. Uh, I hope that's correct. If not, I'm gonna have to talk to him and figure it out again. Sure enough, it was correct. Nice. Hello there, sir. Can I talk to you? Hello, my little rabbit friend. Eek! Me too, Berta! Was I looking for gold when that boulder fell down and trapped me in here? I suppose you expect us to move it. Eek! If you wouldn't mind. Um... I don't know if our normal ground pound is going to do it, considering those rocks that we tried breaking here earlier didn't do anything. We could definitely try. Uh, but first thing we have to do is go back to Wumba's Wigwam and transform back into Banjo-Kazooie. After which, we have to actually go turn into the Goliath once again. And I'll go ahead and cut that trip out since so we've already done that stuff before. Yeah, sure enough, I figured our ground pound wasn't going to do it, like I expected. But, again, I already saw that coming. So the second task that we have to get done here before we leave is to use the power of the Goliath. Because I guess there was a door that I did miss that we can in fact kick with said Goliath. And I do believe it's in here, yep. So, apparently this area over here had this area that looks like it could be kicked. And of course there's also a place where the stony looks like he could enter too. And it didn't even occur to me that I could do that. So maybe I can go and check that out and see what's up with that before we leave. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Well, it looks like it's finally time to figure out what exactly is in here. Hopefully, I have not been in here before. Oh. A code chamber. What do we do here? This is where you activate my cheat. Stand on this podium if you want to know how. I don't think we have access to cheats yet, though, do we? Well, what does this say, first of all? This isn't any use to you, as you haven't earned any of my cheats yet. Okay, so this is where we would go to activate cheats. You've collected a skill stop, Honeycomb! Press X to stop your energy bar as close to the top as possible! Huh? Okay, that just gives you full- okay, that's weird. Alrighty, I'm out of this world now! Alrighty, it looks like I have definitely overstayed my welcome. It is finally time to go into Jiggy Willy's Jiggy Willy. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. You must collect enough Jiggies to prove yourself worthy to enter Jiggy Willy's temple. It seems you have collected enough Jiggies to be allowed inside. Remember, no cameras permitted and only food persons that make Jiggies can be eaten within. Thank you for that. Alright, Jiggy- Wow, you only need four Jiggies to go to World 2? Dude, that is madness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you gonna do it? You gonna do it? Or I have to, oh, that's right, I have to do the puzzle, dude. Man, I forget how to play this game. Okay, let's do it. Whoa. What exactly is this world? It's looking, uh, 
little crazy. Uh, you can kind of see just before you enter it what kind of world you're dealing with here. And it's looking... I don't even know exactly what world we're going to go, but we'll find out now. You have completed the Jerky Wiggers Challenge too, so now the Grey One will show you the way. Alright, Jiggy Wiggy, do your thing. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Oh, cool. oh boy, a new area we haven't been to before. Meaning more exploration to get to our next world. Looks like that is our world too. Cool, cool. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough jiggies to attempt. Jig Wait, what? Are you serious? We have enough jiggies to enter the third world too? Oh god, okay. Uh. Oh, this is where we're gonna start messing up the puzzle. Luckily, they give us some time. Dude, I cannot do these puzzles to save my life. What kind of world is this? Okay, can I please? This is not even that hard, but I feel like the ones later on are going to be much worse. So I need to start getting good at these now. Or else we're going to have problems. What in the world, <laughs> literally, is this? You have completed the Jiggy Willy's challenge. <laughs> Jiggy Willy, I'm never going to stop saying that. All right, Jiggy Wiggy. I can't, do I have to go through this every single time? I do. There's no way to skip this. But in reality, why would you even want to, to be honest? Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Whoa. Witchy world. I could totally guess what our world 3 is called. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just dandy. You do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge 4. Come back later when you do. Thank you, Jiggy Wiggy. How many does it cost to get back in here, though? 14, that's it? Well, that shouldn't be too difficult, since we already have access to the first two worlds. Uh, but now I need to figure out how to get to the next world, though. Uh, I'm gonna assume it has something to do with this. Maybe. Since we have the power to grab ledges, I'm guessing you need to have this ability in order to get through, you know? So, I'm gonna assume this is how we're gonna get to world two. Alright, well, let's see what the signpost says first and foremost. Magic Lobo creatures are usually found near Mumba Wumba and Humba Wumba. Thank you. Again, I, I, well, I mean, now I know that, but oh. The plateau. This looks like our next section of the hub world. Uh, is there a silo around here I can go ahead and, you know, turn on? That way I can get. Oh, ha! Now I can get over here. I should probably just jump in and just to make sure it's activated. Yeah, we don't want to do. I just want to make sure it works. So next time. I don't have to just come over here. I can just fly to it. Or, you know, travel to. This looks like a world, too. Also, is this a move? You can get moves in the overworld, dude. I'll take it. Now the time for you to learn. Shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Ooh, fire eggs. Yum. A brand new egg you have acquired. Now I'll tell you how they're fired. Tap RB or LB to get your eggs on view. Tap it again until it's right for you. Oh boy. Thank you, sir. I do heavily appreciate you. Um, but it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and collect some of these eggs and see what's up here. Is there anything? Some notes. Dude, there's notes here. That's right. I should probably be sure to be collecting these as we also a honeycomb. Holy guacamole, there are so many things before we enter World 2. I did not expect this. Honeybee's Hive. Hi there, Big Bear. I'm Honeybee, Mistress of the Honey. Aw, oh, why couldn't you be Mistress of the Jiggies instead? Because that would have made your quest too easy. However, I 
can grant you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. I suppose that's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, Wasply. <laughs> I'm Honeybee, a bee, not a wasp. Right you are, Hornet Girl. <laughs> you have enough honeycombs for two more units of- Two more? Do you want to trade? Uh, yeah. I do, I kinda. Sure, honey. Toos, toss your honeycombs over here, then, Big Bear. Here's your extra honey, or extra energy. Wow, we get two units of health just for that? And we need five more for our next upgrade. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Man, at this rate, we're not going to enter World 2 or really have any time to do anything. But it's always nice to just kind of explore your surroundings, just to, like, get stuff out of the way. But I think I've overstayed. Well, not overstayed my welcome in this area, so... Hello there, guy on, like, the f close to my screen. All right, I'm, I'm done. Let's go. What do we have here? Glitter Gulch Mine. Also, right off the bat, I can grab this uh, Cheeto page. Five pages at last. Come and see me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. And I'll... Oh, yeah, you tell me your first secret cheat. Um, are these actually like, cheats to help me, like, beat the game? Because if so, I don't want to use them. Also, there's a lot of stuff in here. Is this... Can I break this switch or something? Do I have to step on it? Oh, you just step on it. That's fine. Also, bleh, bleh. also a globo. Also, what does this switch do? I'm bopping my head to this music right now. That's crazy. Oh, look, it opens that up. And I have a timer to get there. Well, I'm certainly not going to beat that timer just yet because I have no idea what in the heck I'm doing. Also, I don't think I want to transform just yet because I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and explore first. First and foremost, before we do anything, I see a minecart. It says fuel storage, or that's not a minecart, that's like... The oh, wait, no, it is. Uh, okay, I can't do anything about that. If anything. The music in here is kind of cool. Also, I'm guessing... Oh, okay, it ran out of time, that's fine. Uh, once I figure out how to get to that area quickly, I will be sure to activate the switch. Also, I figured you couldn't break those. Just like the other rocks. I wonder what kind of move we're gonna get in this world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll figure that out when we actually, you know, get there. Man, I already see so much to do when we just started this world. That's insane. Uh, let's see. Dude, I don't even know where to start. I'm flabbergasted. Also, it's a jiggy. And Mumbo. Well, I know what we're going to be using Mumbo for in, like, the next few, if I can find Mumbo. But what's in here, first of all? Uh, Crushing Shed. Oh, that looks kind of dangerous. Um, there's eggs in here. Is there a specific reason for eggs in here? Uh, how do I shoot eggs? Oh, there you go. I can't shoot eggs behind this fence, so that's something. Um... Do I have to be invincible to get through this? I do have, uh... I do have these, yeah. What? I'm invincible, dude! Dude, I am invincible, Jin- I'm invisible, Banjo! Oh. Okay, um... Uh, okay. Does that mean that... How long does that stay active? Or... If I leave and come back, will it still be active, by chance? Let's go ahead and find that out right now. Hopefully I don't have to do all that crap again. It sounds like I don't. Yeah. Okay, so that might have done something. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing something, guys! I'm doing something! What is down there? Mine entry one. Okay, then what's over here? Uh, let's go ahead and find out what's in here. Oh, man, this world is big, dude. TNT. Uh, maybe those fire eggs I have will be of use? How do I sw switch between... Oh, there we go. How do I... How do I switch between eggs? I, I probably should have... Oh, okay, it's... Oh, yeah, it's L and R. Okay, that's right. Uh, then... Shoot. 
You know, you figured, you know, fire eggs would blow up TNT. But I guess I was incorrect. Well, I'm seeing a bunch of TNT I can go back for. I also see something up here that I do see. Uh, can I get up there somehow? Or doesn't look like I can do that. Uh, let's see what is inside. Did I activate the first warp by chance? I hope I did, because I'm going to need these warps. Water storage. Also, TNT. Also, TNT hurts really badly. You don't want to touch those by any means. And again, more TNT. Jolly Roger Lagoon water. Do I do anything with this? No. Doesn't look like it. What do I do in here? Waterfall Cavern. I'm seeing something with Kazooie's face on it. I'm not sure if I can do anything about that. We can go ahead and try. I gotta get out of first person while I'm swimming. Can I do anything with this rock? No. Not exactly. Okay, well, is there anything else I can do? There's something up there, but it doesn't look like I can, you know, actually get up there. Uh, there's a Jiggy up there. Hmm. So far, I'm seeing a whole lot of stuff to do, but a whole lot of nothing so far that I've actually done. Uh, is there anything with these? No. Alrighty, well... I might want to transform into whatever. I don't even know what I'm supposed to transform into, you know. Because I feel like there's nothing else I can really do at the moment until unless I transform. Or I can go ahead and find Mumbo. Because Wumbo's wigwam is so Oh, there's a Jiggy! Also. Is there anything in the water? Uh looking like a whole lot of stuff to do in the water. First of all, what's up here? I don't think I've been up here yet, have I? No, there's nothing up here. There's a Jiggy that I saw. How do I get that, too? All right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do what we know we can do. First off, let's go ahead and whatever, take this Globo. Oh, there's Mumbo right over there. And there's a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll take my chances with, Wum with Wumba. Also, nice little warp in here. We do have a Globo. So let's go ahead and give you the thing. Wait. I thought I'd stand on this and then throw the thing. There we go. You have Glumbo. Want to get the Humba? Yes, please. Sure. I'll just throw it in. Cool. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba pool. Alrighty. What are we transforming into? What? Wumba called this detonator. Use left stick to move and press X for self-destruct attack. We're a detonator? Well, I mean, this is some. This is kind of useful. For example, we can go ahead and blow up the TNT. That's pretty convenient. Uh, which will allow me to go in here, or do I have to go in here as Banjo? Also, bird. Over here, I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament. Ooh, Ooh my Yubi. I'm Canary Mary. They used to send me down the mines to check for gas. If I died, they'd know it wasn't safe. Nice. I can't think of more blessed jobs. They just left me in here. I don't think I'll last much longer. Don't worry. I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage open. If I must. Well, unfortunately for you, I don't. I'm not exactly in the right situation to do that. I'm not Banjo or Kazooie. I am a detonator, so it looks like that's gonna have to go on a brief hold. Miss, which the name was Canary Mary? That's your name. We did see another place to use this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And luckily for us, you can jump in the water and you'll be completely safe, and that's fine. Uh, where is that other area where we can use this? Or did I already get lost? Wasn't it like over here or something? It wasn't in there because that's where that uh, area was, you know. Uh, was it in there by chance? I think it might have been in there. Unless I'm stupid and didn't even realize. We're already coming up on time already. That's insane. I feel like I did. Oh, there is stuff in here. Um, 
Also, there's a Jinjo in here. I'll take it. Um, rocks. What does the signpost say? First off, let's go ahead. Can we? Can we please? Okay. No, read. Anything that goes through the grinders will come out in pieces, including Jiggies. Ooh, that sounds pretty useful to know. But the answer to my question is no, that is not where we were before. I need to figure where we were before so I can actually do something. And I do believe I know exactly where I need to go. The mine entry one, I do think that is where we need to use this uh, detonator for again. So let's go ahead and do that then. Yeah, there's a bunch of TNT in here that try to murder my life, but they're not gonna murder my life today because that's cool. Wasn't it through this door? I think. I do believe if I take the detonator through this door, I can use it. Oh, that's where the f no, that's not where I'm going. Holy guacamole. Where is that area where I could detonate something? I don't remember where that was. Also, can I go? <gasps> There's notes, dude. Also, it doesn't look like you can. Oh, you take damage by detonating. Well, where the heck? Where am I supposed to use this again? There are two spots where I saw that I can use this. And now I can't remember. Sure enough, of course, I would be this dumb. Uh, is it in here? Might have been in here, actually. This looks like an area. Oh, it is in here. Where does this keep out? Hey. You know what to do. Hey, stop. Just do it, please. Nido. We have done it. We have blown up two spots that I know I can detonate. And so far, I have not gotten a single Jiggy. Also, that looks like I need to swim. And right now, I don't have the ability to train. I need to go back to being Banjo and being Kazooie. Otherwise, we ain't getting a whole lot of nothing in here. But I mean, at least this episode was good for something, right? We actually did some exploring. But I think I now need to be back to Banjo and, you know, to Kazooie. And maybe we can go get a Jiggy or something. There's also a Jiggy up there that I don't know. Also, good. I love it when car alarms go off in the middle of recording. That's also fun, you know. And luckily, we could jump all in midair if we just let it go long enough. That's kind of cool. Let's just get up here and, you know, transform back because don't see us needing this power up for anything else for a little while, you know. Just, you know, you never really know, which is cool. But in any case, let's go and take this pad back to the beginning because there's really nothing else we need. Now, I at least want to get a Jiggy in this episode, so we're going to make it a nice effort to grab one before things get ended off here. Um, so, I'm going to go in here, and maybe we can free the bird that's being trapped, and then we can get a Jiggy? If we can get at least one Jiggy, I will say we made some progress here. So, alright, Kazooie, do a thing. There we go. Woohoo! I'm free! It's moments like this that make adventuring worthwhile. But she hasn't even got a Jiggy! You are the ugliest bird I've ever seen. First of all, where are you going? Oh, oh, it's Glitter Gulch Mine. Is that, did I say that the first time? I don't even remember. Where are you going? <laughs> I have to watch this animation. You are the slowest flying bird I've ever seen in my life, dude. Oh, okay. So we gotta go over there. Well, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we'll go ahead and figure out what she wants. But <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that next time on Banjo Tui. I almost said Banjo Kazooie. She's right over there. I'm gonna end it right in front of Mumbo's or er, Wumba's hut. Mumbo. Wumba's wigwam. And next time on Banjo Tui Blind, we're gonna get some more stuff done in the Glitter Gulch Mine. What did I say? In this? I don't even remember what I said for the first time. But Glitter Gulch Mine is the name of this world. Pretty nice. And yeah, pretty exciting. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Banjo Tooie Blind. I will see you guys then.